Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do this lovely V-stitch. Um, this one here is obviously one that I'm actually working on myself right now. This is going to be a baby pram or Moses basket blanket. Um, so what you're going to need is your chosen yarn. Obviously this one is I'm doing in rainbow with white in between but you can use just one colour or um, a multicolour yarn, you can use whatever you like. Um, all the colours that I'm using are Stylecraft Special DK. Um, I will link in the description box where I bought it from and also the actual shades that I'm using in this tutorial. And you'll obviously need your crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a darning needle for tying in all of the ends. Um, obviously with this being a rainbow stitch one there are quite a few ends that are going to need weaving in as we go along. So let's get started. So to start with we're going to do our foundation chain and then we're going to work our foundation row across the top of the chain and then after that first row every single row that you do will be exactly the same process so it is a really simple pattern and it's actually one of my favorite stitches and um, it's just because it's so quick, it's so easy, you don't really need to think about it once you get going. Um, as I say, this is a baby pram blanket that I'm doing, but the V-stitch is also really nice for doing um, like an infinity scarf, because obviously, again, with it being so quick and simple. And to do a scarf size, um, I chain 18 and then an additional five to work from, so that I will do a separate video for a scarf like that. Um, if you want that just let me know in the comments whether that's something you'd be interested in um, but today I'm just going to do the basic stitch with you and we'll go from there. So I'm going to start with white for my foundation row and then I will build my colours up on top of that. So you want to start with your slip knot so place the tail end of your yarn over your index finger and wrap it around and then hold it between your two fingers and then take your long end and wrap it over the top of your finger again and hold it next to your tail end and then you're going to pull the back loop over the top of your finger and just let go and then pull it tight and insert your hook into the loop that you've created. Now the V-stitch is done with a starting chain in multiples of three so as wide as you want your project to be as long as it you end on a multiple of three and then you're going to do an additional five which will be used for your turning chains. Um, so chain your width of your project, so multiple of three and then an additional five at the end. So to chain you want to yarn over and pull through the loop and yarn over, pull through and yarn over, pull through. And it's really important with um, blankets like this that you don't do your starting chain too tight because if you do your work will start to fan outwards the higher up you get and um, so try and keep your starting chain nice and loose and if you're not comfortable with how tight or how loose you're doing it um, just use a slightly larger hook and just do your foundation chain in maybe a, a half size or even a full size hook up. Um, so if you want to meet me back when you've changed your width and we will work back along our chain. So I've just completed my row, my foundation chain, sorry. I've done 18 and then my additional 5. And as I say, this is a, um, quite a nice width to do if you were using it for a scarf. So now we're going to work our way back across and we're going to be doing treble crochet. Now remember that is the UK term. If you're in the US, this will be a double crochet. So to start with you want to work into the fourth chain from your hook. So we've got one, two, three, four and we're going to work into this fourth chain from your hook. So to do a treble or double in the US you want to yarn over and then you're going to insert your hook into that fourth chain and then yarn over and pull up a loop. So you've now got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And that is your first treble into that fourth chain. Then you want to chain one, so just yarn over and pull through. 
and then you're going to do another treble crochet into that same chain space that you've just done your previous treble. So yarn over and insert, yarn over and pull up. So you've got your three loops, yarn over, oops, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. And that will have created our very first V space. And then you're going to repeat that into the next stitch but you're going to skip two chains so you're going to miss one two and you're going to do your next treble into this third chain so yarn over and insert and do your treble so yarn over and pull up yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and then you're going to chain one and do your next treble into that very same chain space where you've just done your last one and do your treble and that's your next V created and then you're just going to do it again so you're going to skip two so one two and then do your next treble into the third chain along so treble and then you've probably guessed it we're going to chain one and you're going to do another treble into that very same chain space And again you're going to skip two, one, two, and do your treble into the third chain along. And then chain one, and another treble in that same chain space. And you're just going to carry that on, so if you want to pause the video and then I will meet you when you get back towards the end of your row. So I've just got to towards the end of my foundation chain and I've done my last V here and then I've got one chain left which is correct and into that you're just going to do one treble crochet into that very last chain and I'm not going to complete my treble because I'm going to do my colour change here um, so you can change colours whichever way you like, everyone has their, their own way that they like to do it. But for me I'm just not going to complete my treble and I'm going to get my colour. So I'm going to go with the yellow next, the brighter yellow. And to attach I'm simply going to pull through those remaining two loops. And I'm going to snip off my white. And now again, this is just a, a completely personal preference. I actually like to tie the two ends together, which I'll do now, just with a single knot, just like that. And then I'm going to chain three, so one, two, three, and then I'm just going to tighten up that knot a little more. And you can see it's a, it's a clean, colour change. <laughs> so I've done my chain three and now I'm going to turn it around and then this now will be the exact same thing that you will do for every single row. So you've done your chain three and turned and now we're going to be working our stitches into the V that we created from the previous round. You want to make sure um, just before you get going that you're not working into the upside down V in between your V's you want to make sure you are going into the V that you created on the previous row not into the upside down chain spaces that you can see. So it's really simple from now on you're just going to yarn over and do a treble into that chain space and chain one and then another treble into that chain space. Oops, caught my tail in there. And that's it. And then you're going to move on to the next V chain space and you're going to treble and chain one. And then treble into that same chain space again and then your next V space, treble, chain one 
and another treble into that very same chain space. And you're just going to repeat that all the way along your row. So treble, chain one, and treble into your V space all the way along. I'm just going to stick with you now because obviously I'm only doing a very small sample piece so I'll be at the end quite soon. And again. And then I've got one more V here. So I'm going to do my last V into there. Chain one and another treble. And that is all of my V's completed for this row. But you still need to make sure that you work one last treble into the top of the turning chain from the previous row. You must make sure that you do that otherwise your edges will be all wibbly wobbly and all over the show. So you just want to make sure that you do your final treble into the top of that very end chain three and you can see it just keeps keeps it nice and straight as we go up and we're actually ready now well I'm ready <laughs> to do my next color change and um, which makes made me think actually I shouldn't have pulled through the whole of that treble so I'm just going to pull it back out slightly and catch those two loops again um, just so that I can do my color change so I'm going to snip off my yellow And I'm, I'm going back to white because I just, again, just for this rainbow tutorial. And I'm going to just pull it through those last two loops. And then I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. And then secure it. But again, personal preference. And then turn back and we're ready to work our way back along again and it is just it is exactly the same now for however many rows you do you're just going to create more V's into the middle of the previous V's so you're going to treble into that V space chain one and treble again to that same V space move on to your next V space chain one and you just continue it all the way along so I'm just at the end of my row again now and I just stuck with you just for a minute just to make sure to remind you that you really need to make sure you catch the top of that chain from the previous round with your last treble for each row um, but that is literally the pattern you are just going to continue that um, for as many rows as you want to do really, doing as many or as few colour changes as you like and eventually it does build into something that looks really bright and really lovely. Um, so I really hope that you've enjoyed the tutorial and if you have just give me a quick thumbs up and also to anybody who already subscribes or wants to be a new subscriber just make sure you tick that little uh, click on the little bell button that has now appeared near the subscribe button and that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video um, because obviously I subscribe to people myself and I've, I've suddenly stopped getting the notifications when they do upload um, so if you do want to stay really up to date make sure you do click that little bell button um, but I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you again very soon. I've got lots of new things coming soon that I'm very excited about. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again very shortly.